their capabilities. Like a control maturity of a product, you can start using a life cycle management. You can expand that, you can connect people and data, and maybe create the tasks that you want to monitor and ensure that they're completed. I have another question. So you see a browser here, so we went from something inside and native added into SolidWorks yeah. desktop to a browser. Why? Why a browser? So once it's, a, once it's on, a, on the cloud, the data is accessible to everybody, right? Not everybody uses the SolidWorks. So there are many different people in the product development process that need to have access to data information. For them, it's as easy as picking up any device that has a browser and accessing the data. With the embedded light visualization 3D play, they can actually interrogate and see SOLIDWORKS data without needing the full license of SOLIDWORKS. You know, every time I see this product, it's elegant, it's beautiful, very well structured, by the way. That means this is a SOLIDWORKS way. So if I'm an X-Design user, what happens next? So the same 3D experience powers both. It is as easy to use SOLIDWORKS 3D Experience PLM services with X-Design as it is with SOLIDWORKS Desktop. The data of X-Design is automatically stored on the cloud from the beginning, and you can you take advantage of it right away. So the same services that are available to desktop users are immediately available to the X-Design users. In addition, being in the same uh, environment, X-Design users can actually directly open SOLIDWORKS models, and eventually vice versa. So that represents a great opportunity for customers to scale and, and expand their capabilities over time. So what you're telling us is if I start with X Design today, by the end of the year, I have full PDF to PLM services connected to SolidWorks desktop at all. Ready to go? Yes. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Now, how about if I want to go from PDM all the way to PLM? So we understand that one size doesn't fit all. Uh, we want our customers to take a steps that they are ready to take. So we have provided the various options for, where customers can start very small and grow over time. It's amazing what we can do considering that our data is on the cloud. At any moment, you can decide to include additional capabilities and there is no new software to purchase. There's, there's software to purchase. There's no new hardware to purchase. There's no new installation. And more important, there is no data to migrate. It's literally a flip of the button, and all of the capabilities become instantly available to your whole team. And by the way, this is exactly what Ryan Kraft was talking about from Arivo, which is they have zero IT infrastructure, they just get started, go, and they and go to scale, scale PLM yeah. as the company scales. This, and by the way, what are we looking at now? So some of the innovation that we are including in the SOLIDWORKS 3D experience PLM services are related to the project management. And these are data-driven dynamic project management capabilities where different groups can define their own flows and tasks that they need to complete. And once they're put together, the overall project plan updates automatically with all dependencies in time. You know, one thing I would like to say, Dasso Systems has amazing global r &D team. Large group, incredible technologies. You will see the power of it through many different ways enable you to succeed as well. That includes SOLIDWORKS desktop. So what's next, Milos? So SOLIDWORKS 3D Experience uh, PLM services are being developed right now. We hope to engage with some of our customers in the second half of the year through the Lighthouse program. And I would like to invite you, if you're interested in a, in a PLM services or the Lighthouse program, to come to the breakout session that is starting right after this event at 10.30 in the 518 room, 518. Or if you don't have a time, come visit us at SolidWorks.com and you can find more information about PLM services and register for the Lighthouse program. And when are we starting Lighthouse? Uh, second half of the year. Second half of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, Miller Spansky, thank, thank you very much. Thank you.